half. And now we are underway. Booted all the way to the 10 yard line, received by the Bearcats. Facey, end of the 30. Still going, he's facing on the 40-yard line. Breaks another tackle and right out of bounds of just before the 50-yard line is Facey. Goodbye and say hello to the sunshine. A handoff. Right side and stopped immediately by Jamul Cypress. A huge tackle for a loss of yards. Sly. Snaps, drops back or across the middle. He's got a receiver. The tight end is stopped for about a gain of 4-5, or five, but that'll bring up fourth down. Samuel Barber. First play is a little flip to Justin Flack. Breaks the tackle. He's got a huge hole on the right side at the 30-yard line. At the 35 and out of bounds around the 36-yard line. A great play for Justin Flack. And one play, one first down for the Animal Jackets. And number 11, Mr. Dakota Romantino is on the field. A great sign for the Waynesburg offense. He's first and 10 on the 35-yard line. Drop back. And as I say his name, Dakota Romantino's already got a catch. Breaks a few tackles. And into St. Vincent Bearcat territory. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Mr. Dakota Romantino as he says, I will take the first down. The receiving core of Waynesburg has been very good. You have Adrian Letta, Isaac. Flack is next to Barber. Dropping back is Barber across the middle. He's got Romantino, but just overthrows him. If that's a catch from Romantino, he's got a wide open hole to the end zone, just overthrown. And that'll bring out the punt team. The freshman snap. Hand off to Caesar up the middle, but it's big Joel Selim there to say no, no. That's another three and out for the Waynesburg defense, and he points his finger up in the air. The old Matik Tatumbo. Matumbo Finger wag, and that'll bring up fourth and 12. From Arkansas, drops back. Looking, Barber, no one, finds one down the middle. It's enough for the first down. It's Zane Cauley, who was able to get open and get a first down flag in the backfield. We'll see what that is. If Receivers to the right, Barber, handoff. It's a flip to Romantino, finds a hole on the left side. At the 20, at the 15, still going out of bounds is Dakota Romantino. They love to run that play with him. It's another first down. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dakota Romantino show. You're in for a very, very long show. Barber drops back, has Trout on the left side, goes for him. Turning around is Isaac Trout. Did he get the feet down? We will wait for the mark. And they call it a touchdown. Waynesburg University, after their first drive, doesn't score, comes down on the second drive in an absolute offensive show. I didn't get to say it week two. Logan did 21. Can you do something for me? Six nothing. Caesar, Sly, snap, handoff. And there he is, big Joel Zellum shaking his head no. And there is nowhere to go for the running back. A huge loss. And eight after the loss of four. Drop back, pass to the right to the running back, St. Prue. He breaks a few tackles, but not able to go anywhere. It's yet again another three and out. That's three in a row for Waynesburg, and the first time all season they've been able to do that. Snap, handoff to Flack. Flack a huge hole up the middle and gets the first down. A great run attempt from Justin Flack. Barber drops back, looking for Romantino, goes to Romantino. It's a first down. And to ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say it, but another first down from Dakota Romantino. And you can see how much this team has missed him. You definitely have. Before this game with Romantino out. To make and create so much space. Snap, hand off to Flack on the left side. And is tackled right at the line of scrimmage. A gain of nothing. It'll bring up second down and ten. One to the left. It's Trout on the left. Looking to the right, Barber's got nothing. He goes deep, Romantino's open, and Romantino makes the grab, and all the way inside the end zone is Dakota Romantino. A little shaken up out of bounds. Ball is snapped, Barber looks deep, throws to Romantino, and he's caught, but it looks like it's gonna be out of bounds. A lot of players hitting their head there. And the kick is up. And it's no good. Looked like it veered to the left there. To the left of Slough. Slough takes a snap pass off to Caesar. Drives up the field for first down and more here. He's brought down by a swarm of yellow jackets. Ball snapped. Toss to number three. He drives up past the 45 down to the 30 and into the first down and flags. Seems like this is going to be another Waynesburg penalty. 
And the ball is snap. A fake handoff and pass, and it's bobbled, and it's no good there. Right there, it looked like number three there for Miguel Roy. Tried to drop. The kick is up. And it is no good as that one also veers to the left and Waynesburg is able to stay on top here. Seven to nothing Waynesburg and that'll bring up first and ten. Waynesburg. Barber takes snap, passes to Crawley. Crawley finds a hole and up the middle and passes the 30 and is brought down for a first down and more for Waynesburg. Barber hands off to Crawley. Crawley finds a hole and is able to get the first down and more. As he's tackled by many defense. Barber steps back, looks. Caught by number eight. Oh, and a big tackle there. But that caught was complete to number eight, Xavier Nelson. We've talked about him before. The great up-and-coming freshman for the Waynesburg University Yellow Jackets. His first snap of ball. Barber takes a snap, steps back. And is... Pressured and brought down by multiple St. Vincent defensemen there for a loss there. That'll bring up Barber. Barber takes a snap, steps back, looks deep. Caught by Isaac Trout as he drives past the 30 and is brought down by two defensemen, and that'll bring down a Waynesburg University first down. We've talked about him before. Isaac Trout definitely stepping up to the left of Barber. Barber takes a snap, steps back, looks deep with trouble and is intended for that pass was intended for Dagan Williams there. And the kick is up. And no good again as it goes to the left. Like we, like you said before, missed that first one. Vincent comes out on the field on first and 10. Deep drive. Receiver caught and tossed out of bounds. Pass complete to number two. Get on the board before heading into the locker room. Asal takes a snap with a fat, fake handoff and is sacked in the backfield by number 47, Chase Nick Amati. A great play there, playing heads up ball to bring up. Third down and 11 to go in the half. Sly looks deep, throws and passes complete, and it's brought down. JV on Smith was there. He was able to go to the right. Barber steps back. Deep pass up the center of the field to Dakota Romatimo. Is caught as he passes the 50, breaks a couple tackles as he goes to the left-hand sideline and is brought out of bounds. Great drive there by Dakota Romantino. We've mentioned it before. This is the Dakota Romantino show now that he is back. And that'll bring a huge Waynesburg. Barber takes a snap. Steps deep. Deep throw down the middle and no one is there. Looks like that was again intended for Letta. Down attempt here with Flack to the right. Deep pass over to number 21. Isaac Trout as he shuffles for what looks like is going to be the first down. Flack to the right of Barber. Barber steps back, looks at the pass, and he is trouble in some trouble and breaks a couple tackles, but is brought down for a loss. As the clock continues to run here. And the kick is up. And that time it is good for Rico Sistoki, able to capitalize there. Maybe that timeout is exactly what he needed. He needed a quick pep talk from head coach Cornelius Coleman. That was a 45-yard field goal there. He misses a 39. He misses a 41. But don't you worry, the 45-yard is easy peasy there for Rico Sistoki. <laughs> as well here. Barber passes off to Flack. Flack finds a hole and goes past the 30 and is brought down. At the Waynesburg 35, Justin Flack on a great carry there. We already mentioned it before this quarter started. Very, very. Twins left. Barber takes a snap. Passes off to Flack, and Flack is brought down immediately. Deep punt past the 50. And received at the 20, and it's bobbled, and it's brought up by Waynesburg as Waynesburg is able to catch the bobbled punt, <laughs> and it comes down at the 10-yard line. 
That is exactly what Waynesburg needed there, and I'm going to say it. That was a huge momentum switch for Waynesburg University as you look at the replay here. Bounces. Justin Flack. And a throw to, to Flack, and he goes in, into the end zone. We'll see you on the call. And touchdown to Waynesburg. Great play there. Quick little toss to number 30, Justin Flack, his first touchdown of the game. A great game from Flack. You see, truly see that connection. Sal takes a snap, steps back to toss, and is sacked by number 47, Chase Nicomati. That is his second sack of the game. You don't see him coming when he does. Twins right, one receiver to the left. Pass off, and the pass deep upfield, and the pass is good. Sal for the fake pass off, hands it upfield, and again to Estelle to get the first down. Sal hands it off, up the middle, and is brought down at around the, oh, it escapes the tackle and is brought down at the 48-yard line here. Nonetheless, we're back to action. Sal throws up the middle, down to the left-hand side, and the ball is loose and is gobbled up by Waynesburg. And that will be a fumble recovery there for Waynesburg University. And that will be covered by Monroe Moeller. He has had a fantastic game there. Flack behind Barber. Barber takes a snap, passes it to Flack. Flack crosses the 50. And then the drives up the field for a first down right there on his first snap of ball. It's exactly what you expect from Justin Flack. 28 minutes to 18 minutes of possession time. Here's a pass. It looked like it was going to be a flea flicker, but taken down from behind is Jaheim Williams. Fake handoff slide. Drops back. His arm was in motion. That's a fumble. Balls on the ground. Players diving. We'll wait to see who comes up with it. That was a pass. It will be a fumble. But who came, who came up with it? That was a forced fumble there by number 47, Chase Nicomati. But unfortunately, St. Vincent comes up with it, and you can. Out the season, the coveted Dub J matchup. Hand off to Cauley. Up the middle, finds a hole. Still going for more. Breaks another tackle. Zane Cauley is still going in just to get at the 50 yard line. A huge run, about a 17 yard gain from Zane Cauley. 4.05 to go, third and 15, and yet again another handoff to waste time. Cauley finds a hole up the middle. Big hole still going, still on his feet, almost able to get the first down, and now a great run from Zane Cauley brings up the chance for Waynesburg to go for it on fourth down and continue to let the clock run. Both teams have all three timeouts. Vincent down 17, nothing. Nothing to lose there. Barber, handoff to Cauley, right side. There's a big hole, cuts back in on the middle. Still going at the five and not able to score is Zane Cauley, but all the way into the five-yard line as we have a player down on the field. It'll be first and five, first and goal. Wayne motivating win against Waynesburg. Nonetheless, handoff up the middle is Justin Flack. Still going, diving into the end zone. Touchdown, Justin Flack, his second of the day. One receiving touchdown, one rushing touchdown in Waynesburg, just like that, scoring again, solidifying the win here today. And that right there is exactly what you expect coming out of Justin. Waynesburg takes on Case. I will have the call alongside Logan Episcopal on radio. It's a pass across the middle. Catches. Pass is caught. Still up in the air and brought down. The forward progress will give the Bearcats a first down. And that will bring us to two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Bearcats just trying to do hurry up offense here. Trying to get some type of score. Trying to avoid the shutout. But nonetheless, we're under two minutes to go until Waynesburg secures their first up slide. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. There's moving on the line. It's a false start on the offense. 